What's up agents, Patrick Wolf here. Welcome to another Division 2 guide video. Today's guide is going to be the Capacitor Assault Rifle, how to obtain it, and I'm going to give my thoughts and tell you guys exactly what's changed since the PTS. So the first thing I'm going to do is have a look at this weapon, then I will tell you guys how to obtain this. It'll take you about 15 minutes, it's very quick to get, and I'm sure you will enjoy it. It's a must-have for any person who likes hybrid builds and skill builds. So the Capacitor. This is an exotic assault rifle that rolls assault rifle damage, damage to armor, and health damage as the attribute. Uh, we have got 105k base damage. This is obviously dependent on your build. A 700 RPM and a 41 round magazine. Uh, if you guys have a look at the modifications, they are quite strong. I've made a full review of this from the PTS, but things have changed slightly. So we've got a conductive focal, which gives us 10% crit chance, which is really, really high for a scope. Then we have the uh, discharge electrode, 30% crit damage for this uh, beautiful barrel modification. It's amazing. 30% crit damage is huge, and the fact that we can get 10% crit chance from one mod is really good. Then we have 10% weapon handling, which is accuracy, stability, uh, reload speed, and swap speed. So make sure you guys uh, just keep that in mind because a lot of people don't realize exactly what weapon handling is. Then on the magazine, we have got plus 11 rounds, which isn't that great, but hey, we can't complain. It has got a 41 round magazine, and the RPM is quite decent. So the capacitance shooting enemies builds stacks to a cap of 40. Each stack grants 1.5% skill damage. That is 60% skill damage, which is huge. That is a, a lot of stacks. They recently changed it, uh, allows, allow us to basically get the skill damage a bit faster, which is really good. After five seconds, uh, stacks decay one per second. So you can keep it. It's not that hard to keep these stacks up. They last for quite long. And then for each, uh, basically yellow that you have skill tier uh you gain 7.5 percent weapon damage which equates to about 45 percent which is quite good but that's only three reds so this is perfect for any kind of hybrid so if you use a three yellow and three red in theory you're basically having six reds with your with this gun fully stacked so it's very very good um, obviously you don't even need to stack it you just, you just get the damage. So this is going to be really, really good for any kind of hybrid build and skill damage build. So make sure you guys obtain this. It's a great weapon. How are you going to get it? Let's get straight into it. So go to the summit. And now the summit has got new projects that you guys can actually do. So let's go over there and, and I can showcase this to you guys in a second. So once you get into the summit, what you guys need to do is just click on the menu button. Then go to challenges. These are challenges that have been added right now in TU12. So we've got tactical and ascent. Just remember that there's two different types. Uh, each type has got a whole bunch inside there. And here on the right hand side, you need to only get five rewards. So complete only five of these. Uh, you can get three of there and then two of there or however you want to do it. So as you guys can see, you get one, two, three, four, you get a whole bunch of caches, some targeted loot, and then the capacitor at challenge reward five. So the easiest way to do this is to activate one of these uh, on the left and then another one on the right. You can have two active at once so one from tactical one from ascent so go into it i will showcase the ones that i have done probably the easiest way to do it combat proficiency uh make sure you just put the difficulty on normal it makes it very easy headshot kills melee kills use the lady death which gives you a lot of melee damage and the uh, firewall shield that'll give you more melee damage you can one tap in normal mode uh, grenade kills easy just make sure you put the frag grenade on your character Signature weapon kills, very easy. I use the flamethrower, just burst them down. They die very fast. Once you've done that, uh, make sure to alternate. So while you're doing that one, while that one is selected, because you can only select one at a time. So for example, select this one then go to ascent and then select one of these two that I've done. These ones are a bit more difficult to do. They take longer because you have to complete floors, not just a challenge, which you can possibly get in one floor. This will take you at least three floors. So directives, deft, what happens is, is you get floors completed with at least seven directives active. Just activate seven directives. Make sure this is active with the other one. And then you will do them both at the same time. Just concentrate on what you're doing. Then do Guardian Award, which complete three floors without an agent being downed in a single session. Just three floors. That's easy enough to get. Then on Tactical, these are the ones that I did, uh, as you, we discussed earlier. Headhunter as well. Headshot kills, 35 out of 35. And then Talented Techie. We've got Skill Kills, easy. I just use the Hive and my Drone or Turret. It's completely up to you. Then that's how you get it. Basically, you just get five. So I've got three from this side and then two from this side. It's up to you how you want to do it. It doesn't take too long. Just run through the, the summit. 
get them done. You also get some materials for the optimization station as well. So it is really worth it. And then you get this beautiful weapon and you guys will need this for builds that I will be making in the future. And if anyone wants to make any kind of hybrid or skill build, this is a must have. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll be seeing everyone in the next video. Peace out, guys.